everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge here in The Sims 4 with quite a bit of custom content, almost all of it from the lovely Kalino. Definitely check her out if you want to know where all these adorable things tend to come from. And a lot of creativity as we mish and mash those different animal genes together to see what kind of surprises we may have today. And today, my friends, we have quite the show for you because it is October and that means it is the month of all things spooky, magic, and creative. And today we have a very special guest willing to put on a show for you, Nova, the magic cat. And I actually did not plan on mixed breeding a magic cat today. I had a cat that is also a bat cat on the list, but I kid you not, Nova just popped into existence with the cape and with this beautiful Devon Rex fur. And the next thing you knew, it was love. I could not turn away from Nova. If you guys remember in The Sims 2, there was actually a special career that you could get for your pets. And I think one of the careers that I either had in the base game or I had modded was that they could go and be assistants for animal ma magicians, which I, I'm thinking, wow, that was actually a thing in The Sims 2. Oh, maybe we should bring back some of The Sims 2 Let's Plays because geez, it'd be really fun to have crossovers all over the place. But anyway, I fell in love with Nova and Nova, by the way, is named after one of you guys. As soon as this cat popped up, beautiful Devon Rex with the special Devon Rex fur and face and big eyes and was wearing a cape. All I could see was a cat ready to perform some magic to celebrate the Halloween month. So it is that time again, friends. We are dipping and diving back into magical mixes. So if you guys happen to have some suggestions on what kind of animals you would like to see, do keep them coming because we are going to have a quite a fun month. I love, love, love Halloween, not just because it is a creative and fantastic time to pull off some magic tricks, but also because it is my mother's birthday. So I really love to go all out for the month to kind of celebrate my mom's birthday. It's on Halloween. <laughs> And we have six other birthdays this month in the family as well. So it's a busy, busy birthday month. And uh, yeah, just keep those, keep those suggestions coming for magic animals. But all right, enough about birthdays and all of that. Let's go ahead and introduce the act of the night. We have Nova here, an experienced magician cat who has served under a magician for quite some time. And when I was trying to think, Nova, my dear, what should we mix your genes with? The answer was rather obvious. For Nova is going to pull out of her master's hat, a rabbit! Rabbit the Hat is what we have named this one, but this is a, another type of rabbit. So this rabbit is from Kalino and uses some more of her wonderful modded ears to really get that rabbity look. Uh, and this design is actually from Kalino as well. You can go over to her gallery and you can go onto her website in order to find this entire animal available for download. We've got the specialized hips installed as well. So it really looks like let me see if I can find it. So it really looks like a bunny. If you take that away, you kind of lose some of that effect. But check that out. We've got the specialized hips and we have the teeny little tail, the little bunny tail. So bunny ears, hips and tail come together to create Rabbit, the hat, who happens to live in the magician's hat and uh, the secret love of Nova's life. Together they put on many a wonderful magic show for their magician owner and they happen to love him as well. So it's just a big happy family and it's about to get even bigger. So, oh my gosh, also the cute little booties, I just have to point out, the hat comes from my first pet stuff, I'm pretty sure, and so does the cape, but the adorable little booties, those are actually from Kalino. So definitely check out Kalino's work, absolutely fantastic. Uh, all right, and hopefully, like, she's been working on dragons, by the way, you guys. I'm one of her patrons, and over on her Patreon, she is indeed working on dragons. So anyway, let us carry on. We're gonna, we're gonna start, okay, let me pull up the names. I'm just, I'm just so freaking excited. This is gonna be adorable. All right, and uh, after all of the magician's tricks have been sparkling through the sky, the curtains close, then finally, Rabbit, the hat, 
and our lovely Nova, the magic cat, get to stroll along the beautiful walks of Glimmerbrook together, maybe even pop into the magic realm so that they can beg some treats from the astral projections running the vending stalls there. And uh, as they stare out as the beautiful crystal-filled sky around them, they fall deeper in love, and they realize it is time. It is time to begin a family! So, now that I have the names ready to go, let's go ahead and do this. I have no idea what may come up, and as usual, if you guys would like to become one- <gasps> If you guys would like to become one of the many random pets that might pop up in our wonderful adventures, then do please leave a comment down below. You guys, I'm gonna have to break some rules. This is Nova's first child, Erica, based on Erica King. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead, Erica King, thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoy Wolf Quest. You are actually Nova's firstborn from a previous relationship with a magic raccoon, of which, if you guys haven't been seeing our North Star Magic Realm series for The Sims 4, there is a magic raccoon named Queen Cupcake, and she is trying very, very hard to have some magic babies in the magic realm. So yes, Magic raccoons do already exist in my version of the magic realm. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna say that Erica is the, the firstborn from a previous litter with a magic raccoon because that I cannot pass that up. That is like absolutely one of the, the combinations I can't pass up. So now we have a Devon Rex magic raccoon mix who happens to be very affectionate, a prowler, and clever. So it's gonna be quite fun to see how you turn out, Erica. <clears throat> But okay, now that uh, mm -hmm. now that we have gone ahead and, and we have actually uh, cheated a little bit, let's have the second letter be born. So, oh my gosh. What? Did you just, Nova, did you just have a, another baby with another raccoon? Fine! Fine! Have your raccoon babies! I swear, if the third one is a raccoon baby, I really feel badly for Rabbit the Hat now because apparently this was a long-running relationship. This is going to be Little Fox! Little Fox, welcome, welcome! I'm very excited to have you come and join us. I I think we've had definitely several little foxes uh, of various name varieties show up before, so you are in a good, happy name family. Uh, I am beginning to suspect, does the Devon Rex, like, have a fur coat that... I mean, I don't think so. That's not the Devon... Yeah, no, no, no! I think that actually Nova just had a previous relationship with a magic raccoon and here we are with a spoiled, affectionate, lazy raccoon Devon Rex again. <laughs> All right, let's see if third time is the charm. I'm kind of shocked this has never happened before. Okay, that's it. Now, Nova, you're just pulling my leg. Now you're just pulling my leg and we're gonna put our foot down and we're gonna say the first two were from your previous relationship, but it's time to move on. I have, uh, Devon Rexes don't have this patterning, so I'm not sure what's going on, but we're, like, because is that going to happen again? It is! The unknown parent, for some reason, is locked on raccoons. So now we know, my friends, if it wasn't Rabbit the Hat, then she would run back into the waiting arms of her raccoon. So, uh, let's go ahead and, and we're moving on in this relationship, Nova. I know it's a little difficult, but still. <laughs> there we go. Oh, look at the strap! You guys, I didn't know that the Devon Rex had such beautiful stripes. So here we have our very first little one named Alexander. So thank you very much, Alexander, for your wonderful comments. Uh, I do think a, a new Finland with a white wolf would be beautiful. You guys are coming up with some great ideas for our winter arc of this wonderful adventure. You are a glutton who is mischievous and spoiled. There are a lot of adorable spoiled kittens resulting here. I kind of love it. Uh, but all right, let's go ahead and try again. We're gonna mix and match. <gasps> Rabbit, what? Maybe it's Nova? Nova, are you part raccoon? Like I, this is one of those cases where you're looking at it right here, guys. It's Nova and Rabbit, but I feel like Rabbit would be like, I don't know about this, Nova. 
Uh, are you sure you haven't been seeing that raccoon again? <laughs> like, seriously, this is this is just... I don't even understand what's happening here. But Olivia, welcome, welcome. You are a little blind raccoon with a minx tail. Things are getting very interesting here and we've just started. And we have a prowler who is talkative and clever. Wow. I'm beginning to wonder... <laughs> so far, I'm beginning to wonder if Rabbit is just like taking in a bunch of children. Like, seriously? Because none of them really look like him. Maybe he's based off of a raccoon? I'm gonna go with that. But then why would the unknown parents... Oh, you guys, this is quite the mystery. <gasps> wow! We ended up with a completely white and blind baby named Sky River. So thank you very much for your comments, Sky River. I'm really glad that you have been enjoying the wolves. Hopefully we can tap into the gray wolf and the Mexican gray wolf genes in the future. Whoops, Sky River. But what a gorgeous name you have for a blind rabbit magic cat. Like that is so much fun. You are territorial, clever, and lazy. So welcome to the family, little one. Gosh, I'm just so flummoxed by the absolutely ridiculousness of this. At least we have evidence that we have one raccoon child. Or one, uh, one, not raccoon child, I meant. <laughs> All right. Yes, but now I'm seeing. I think the Devon Rex is just somehow either tied to the raccoon or for some reason is just pulling up raccoon nonstop. And we have another blind baby. So we're going to be wrapping up with Faith, a name suggested by Isabel. So thank you very much, Isabel. I think Faith is a beautiful name. And she is such a lovely contrast to her sister, who is also blind. So we have kind of like the black and the white mixed together. So beautiful in their own way. And don't worry, because they have a magical mom, I'm sure that they can see just fine. But Faith is a skittish prowler who is quite the free spirit. So she is definitely wandering all over that magic realm. But alright guys, I'm kind of curious to see how this goes. Because I am definitely thinking that these first two were from a previous relationship with a raccoon. So let's go ahead and grow up Erica. <laughs> oh, so cute! Erica, look at you! I love that look, like mix of everything. I actually love that fur type. I love that coloration. Everything just looks fantastic. A plus plus, Erica. A plus. I really like. There's something about that fur texture that just makes me want to pet the Devon Rex so much. So there's from first relationship, little fox. Also from first relationship. Also really beautiful. I really love the Devon Rex raccoon mix that we're getting here. I'm quite enjoying it. Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, raccoons are a cat mix, so, huh. And then finally, we are moving into what, you know, our magic cat is going to swear our bunny mixes. And I've rolled the dice to see if these four will end up inheriting their father's bunny features or not. So, Alexander. <gasps> Alexander, you naturally inherited the tail. And you actually did inherit the ears and the haunches. So, let's go ahead and add on those additions. Alexander, you're so cool. We've got the ears, my friends, and then we have got the haunches as soon as I can find them. <gasps> That's really cool looking. Oh, now I want to breed a bunny and a tiger. Oh, that'll have to be for a future mix too. And look at the eyes. Alexander, how cool is this? Even more examples of creatures that we never would have had if we weren't mixing and mashing these genes together. And this time it's a little magical. All right, rolling the dice again to see if we inherit the ears or the haunches or the tail. All right, Olivia. <laughs> Olivia, you have no tail. Uh, let's see. You did not inherit the ears. You did inherit the haunches. And you did not inherit the tail. So, Olivia, my dear, you're just going to have some powerful back legs. You too are blind. Like, we ended up with a lot of blind magic cats, but maybe they can, like, all see the future or something, these last three. They can kind of get together and perform some sort of little magic event. Oops, and Sky, I really didn't give you a chance. Oh, Sky, your tail! Oh my gosh! Okay, your tail is a skeleton tail, but good news, Sky! You actually rolled to inherit everything about that bunny gene side. So you're going to have the ears, 
you're gonna have the haunches. Where are the haunches? I know they're up here somewhere. There you are. And you're actually going to have the bunny tail. So no need to despair. You will not be a skeleton cat forever. <laughs> but there we go. So this is Sky. I'm really kind of liking this. It's, I feel like these three blind sisters just kind of gather together to perform some sort of little future seeing magic trick. All right, and then we have Faith. I just rolled the dice. <gasps> wow, Faith, you got the really long tail. I have no idea where that came from other than the randomness of it just being assigned to you. Uh, I'm gonna actually leave that even though you rolled to inherit the tail. So Faith inherited the ears, but not the haunches. Very exciting. <gasps> Faith, you're so cool looking. Look at this. Oh, you guys, I absolutely adore this. This is so cool. So I really love our two Raccoon Rex mixes from our wonderful Nova the Magic Cat's previous relationship. And then we have four really awesome rabbit cats. Look at them. I think we've got one who can see, like I think Alexander for his coloration and his design is just my favorite right now. But then we have the three blind sisters who are performing who knows what kind of magic in the magic realm with Faith being one of the most surreal and magic looking cats I have ever created. So I am very, very pleased with this. This definitely turned out, I never would have even thought to do this. So I'm so grateful that Nova just magic herself up into existence when I was getting ready to do a bat cat. So we'll save the bat cat for later, but thank you so much for joining us, my friends. If you could, do please leave a like to toss a treat to our wonderful new animals. If you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, you guys know what to do. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you next time. Oh, Faith, you're amazing. Bye, guys.